Alright, so how long do you think it's gonna take Mike to come down, realistically? An hour. <laughs> Bro, we talking about at least 12 minutes. No cap. No cap. Oh shit, Mike just texted. What do you say? Out here, look, in front of 24 hour waiting for Mike. My stomach hurts, but nothing is coming out. This is frustrating. That sounds frustrating. I give him 15 minutes. I give him an hour. Yeah. Is he, is, okay. I told you he just woke up. <laughs> you, you, no, if he's taking an hour, we gonna straight leave. Cause that means it'll already be three o'clock. I girl. was kidding, I don't really think. He might, I'm, I'm telling you, 12 minutes. That okay. should say it all, why we're outside 24 hour. Oh yeah, we not making this, none of this up by the way. This is the proof, it's live. Yeah. This shit is not staged. All right, time up. What time did you get off the phone with him? Like two minutes ago. Yeah, two minutes. Got the Apple Watch. Timer. Yeah. So what time are we gonna say? 1.50? That he got? Uh, yeah, 1.50. It was 1.50. Oh, I'm telling you, bro, today has seemed like four days. <laughs> Like, That's good though. You don't I, want your time to go fast. I've been up since three o'clock, and here it is now eleven thirty. But I woke up in Dallas, and I'm going to sleep in LA. So <clears throat> the time difference also is throwing me off. Yeah, it's been three hours. Like we literally slept three hours. Oh yeah, you and Ivan know about them screaming gym videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna insert one right here for everybody <laughs> that don't know. Please. This morning, a bro hit me up, saying that his girlfriend shit canned him over the weekend. The woman, who is the love of his life, his soulmate, his future bride-to-be, left him for another dude. Now I've seen this message over and over again, but this one stood out when he said those four words, no bro should ever mutter. She broke my heart. Say the bro! Is it a go yet? It looks good. I'm waiting for them to take pictures of it. Any Uh, yes. Told me about all your insecurities for work. Drag me like two hours to your family's house for work. Second, I like sticking around the same as being stuck. Tweaking, tweaking off that 2 CB hat. Never. Ever. They say the biggest reason most people are depressed is because they care about what others think of themselves more than them. The man makes the outfit. The outfit don't make the man. Hey. So we just pulled up to this museum. It's called the Neon Museum. I don't know where I'm at right now because we was just driving around in circles because it took forever to find it. Uh, parking, but I tell y'all the streets when we get there. Stay tuned. Just a ten dollars. Each? Well, how many books do you have to get it? Like, 
Man, it's cool, bro. It's, it's just art, B. Hey, man, I need to quit playing you. Hey, bro, it's real gay. It's three men. I to need to use the, the restroom. Room. All y'all in here just playing in the restroom. <laughs> yeah. Come on. It's, uh, hey, this right here is actually Little Wayne, the one he's promoting right now. Bumba? Bumba? Yeah. Bumba. Can we Which one's the one that drank? Un momento sexy. I'm un momento sexy. I'm un momento sexy. I'm gonna tell you this song to look up to play for that. I know what song, man. I know this song. It's Spanish. <laughs> I watch TV, bro. I watch. I mean, social media, anyway. Un momento sexy. What? <laughs> so, um. Look at this, people. Hey, don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's your 15 minutes. It really is. Yeah, Damn, for sure. Damn, an hour and 12 <laughs> minutes. Chill, bro. Hour and 12 minutes. That album's only 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh, well. I, man, at least we got cool AC in this rental. Yeah, we finna have some bomb ass, fire ass weed. Once <laughs> we get done rolling. Yeah, I am what I am. I don't have no time for no misunderstandings. Again, not a stop. Watch shit don't never stop. I swear right now it is not intended to be a weird situation even though we got one man changing in the corner and one man laying on the bed with his feet in the air but it is a woman here <laughs> so it breaks the ice <laughs> Yo, what up, man? I'm Second Chance Film. This is my second chance. Y'all about to film me. Check me out. Uh, this is my shout-out to my ex-girlfriend. I just want a second chance with you. And uh, I'd like to film you naked. <coughs> is he going to make it TBD, huh? Okay, so that took way too long to set up. But this is the fucking question that I asked. I said, how does she feel about woman's sexuality on social media? The fact that it's even like a, like a topic, it's just like new age, like new age becoming of like... What are you doing? Bro, stop laughing. He's trying to have his moment. Okay, all right. Mike has moments every time. As she's talking, I'm looking at the camera. So I'm just because I followed girls before and like I know them. Like for specific I, reasons. No, like I followed girls from Dallas that I know, and then you know they started posting sexual pictures, 
And then they started saying, this is my Venmo, this is my Snapchat, like if you Ooh. want some nudes, then hit me what? up. What? And basically, it, it, it's like a coming of they actually age. actually making good money though. It's a coming of age of like strippers almost and like, it's a kind of a grade of like strippers are millionaires now. Definitely, but that's what I'm saying. Like hundred thousand dollars. Well, strippers are. That's what I feel like though. They they start doing that and then they become like a stripper or like a, a escort. It's just different women are like that. I actually had a friend. She just told two days ago on the phone that her friend used to work at Target as a cashier. Some dude went up there. Some dude all blinged out. Was like, hey baby, about like that. Baby. You can make a lot of money as a stripper. She dropped Target, became a stripper, made good money, flying back from LA to like uh, Vegas, and now she says, last time she hung out with her friend, she's like, hey, I'm gonna make 300 real quick. I'm gonna go chill with this fat guy. He's like, what do you do what? And she's like, he just. You know, well, I believe it because our except, friend, except this our Linda, Linda she had a friend. For real? Yeah. <laughs> that's gross. I was like, 300 dollars though. Damn. Damn. That's that's forty hours of Target. No, I knew this girl, all minutes. she had to do was chill with people. All she had to do was show them a good time and chill with them. Show she me a money. good time. Oh, so yeah. I just feel like it's just a new age, like coming up, like. So are you of against it? Definitely a lot of I'm not up. against it because you got to use what you got to get what you want, and some girls take advantage of that. Players Club. No, that's the truth, though. I believe it. It really is. I'm with it though. Because I feel like if any of y'all, like if y'all was fine than a bitch, like y'all have that option, like as a woman. If you're a fine ass woman and you have good angles and you have, you know, a good camera. See, this, I feel like this is what woman empowerment is. Because girls that hate on them is going to be like, oh no, they're getting naked on social media. And shit. I got my education. But I got my respect. I got my respect. Yeah, but shit, you throw that thousand dollar check, your respect. Yeah, 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 I respect that twenty G's also only twenty twenty G's. It's just the the sad thing about that life is eventually your looks fade away and that's, people are definitely taking advantage of their looks. They that's say really they true. say that if you don't like the way you look in your twenties, well you need to do something about yourself because this is the best life, this is the best time to look your best and they are just taking advantage of it, looking their best because looks will dwindle away and if you waste your time getting this money now you won't have money forever unless you really get something that has foundation and that, your looks. that's a genuine fear of women i didn't notice because no homo but my one of my favorite songs because of production and the way it sounds is called lana, it's lana ray young and beautiful it's on the great gatsby movie it's like, will you still love me when I'm alone? Young yeah, and beautiful. I, mean, I told that girl that, and the girl's like, you know, that's a genuine fear of all women. Is it? So, really like, when it looks fade, when men still love old. them. Fuck the looks. So, but what I'm saying, I'm the, the point I'm trying to say is that looks fade, period. And you, 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 you're popping now, you need to get that racks. And then, because when you're not popping, you need to get. So, are you saying they should save us? Yeah, you need, you you need should to get either money save up. Save. Or if you are on a high pedestal, do something with that. Like women who just look Best good and so. get like Buy you know house. money, they no. But like they don't do anything for like you others mean, like, or the community, community or anything. Yeah. Like they don't invest on like maybe like a boutique or like something like or like a or, like, charity or something like you know. It's just like do something with it. Do something that's gonna grow. Like plant yeah. a seed. Plant plant a seed. That's well, a business is a like, seed. Or pay for education or something. Some that's girls are just saying. buying two thousand dollar bags and then yeah, like, they're they're just buying bags and stuff. going on trips. I mean, trips are awesome and all, but is it gonna pay you later? Like yeah, a business is a good seed though. Cause you can you can just be like, oh, I'm about to change six people's lives. I'm giving you all y'all a job. Before yeah, someone comes in the comments, we are on a trip. I just had to say that. No, I'm not. Uh uh. What I'm tripping is when I'm really sipping. This, this new one is on the What are we sipping? Where, where's the bottle? Oh no, I can't show that. <laughs> no endorsements, Puff Daddy. So what do you think about women's sexuality on social media? I think it's great. It's fucking fantastic. I mean, I go online, it's like, woo! You know, it's, it's enticing. It makes me motivated. It makes me want to wake up at 6 a.m. and work five jobs because like, I need to get women that look like that. You know, I'm just, it, it, it makes my day better, you know? It's like a cup of coffee at Starbucks.
on DMT, huh? See, this the type of house.